Emily, come on up and join us. Our next speaker is Emily Ransom. Emily is legislative, state legislative program coordinator for Clean Water Action. As you can probably tell by the name, they're all about protecting clean water. And uh, Emily gets their efforts out of Annapolis, and we're glad, so glad she's here with us now. She's with the SPIN for Frederick County. Yes. yes. All right, hi everyone. I am Emily Ranson, and set up with Clean Water Action. So we're an organization that was founded back in 1972 to pass the Clean Water Act, and we're still hard at work uh, trying to make sure that we have good federal protections, but we also have offices across the country, and I'm out of the Baltimore office. A lot of you, or some of you may know Jennifer Kunze. She's our community organizer, and so she's one of our big boots on the ground people working a lot in both Baltimore City as well as uh, Frederick County. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Forest Resource Ordinance. It's a bill that's coming forward in Frederick County and we're all really excited about it. Basically what this bill does is it says that if you're going to be a developer and you're going to be cutting down trees, if you cut down one acre, you have to replace another acre. This is surprisingly controversial. You wouldn't think it would be, but Frederick County actually had this bill on the books previously, and nobody give too big of a boo or a hiss, the last board got rid of it. And so while this, when this was law, we saw Frederick County basically had no loss of forests, when this bill got scrapped with the last county commissioners, there was then, the next five years, 300 acres were lost. So clearly, the law that had been on the books was effective, and so we want that law to come back on the books in Frederick County. So what's currently on the books is the state minimum. And Ben's going to be talking a little bit about the campaign to change the state minimum, but right now, if you cut down an acre of forest, you only need to replace a quarter acre. So surprise, surprise, we're losing forest. Um, I sh I'm sure I don't have to lecture you all about why forests are good, um, but just in case you're talking to someone and you need to uh, throw down some hard facts, they <coughs> filter pollutants, they act like a sponge to soak up floodwaters, they clean the air, they moderate the temperatures, and they hold on to the soil. They're great. Oh, and also they're fun to walk in and fun to play in and animals sort of need them to live. So those are some, you know, the, the fuzzy things, the nice things. Um, so then what can you guys do to help? Well, right now, or, or maybe between nine and five, call uh, Bud Otis and say, hey, I'm a Frederick County resident and I want this bill. He's going to be the swing vote and we need Frederick County voices to call him, to talk to him, to make sure that he knows that this is an issue that you care about. You can also call your district representative, um, tell them, this is what I want, I need you to fight me, or fight for this to make sure this happens on the county level. Send letters, send comments, tell your friends to send letters, tell your friends to send comments. Make sure that this is a big grassroots mobilizing effort. And so one of the ways we're helping with this bill is we have a door-to-door -door canvas that goes out and talks to them or talks to people when they answer the door. And so if we're in your neighborhood, drop a line on whatever community listserv you use and say, hey, Clean Water Action is here. They're not weirdos knocking on your door. They're good people. Answer the door, sign their letters, sign their petitions. Um, so <laughs> we know about the community listservs. <laughs> um, so that is going to be a big grassroots push and we really need all of your help. Um, so then finally, there is Livable Frederick. So Livable Frederick is the county's new comprehensive plan update. It sounds really boring, but what it basically is is the county's vision for how they wanna grow in the future. Um, these plans are oftentimes beautiful and this one will likely be beautiful when it comes out and when it comes out and goes through its process, the next step for community engagement will be open houses in all the districts around the county. And then we're going to once again need that grassroots push to say, it, assuming it's a good plan, 
that you like it and that you want it to happen. But then the fight isn't over. Once the plan goes into effect, we need all of your help with your various groups, your neighborhood, just you as a voter to say, hey, that really cool piece in the plan that said something that I like, whether it's about zero waste, whether it's about forest buffers, whether it's about land zoning, whatever it is, it's not law until we make it law. And so when you read that plan and read it and see it and live it and take it in as a piece of what we want Frederick County to become and then say, okay, I'm going to take this initiative and I'm going to fight to make this happen because we need the laws to make that happen. So a good plan is a good foundation. It needs teeth. You guys give it teeth. So.